so you had to postpone your wedding. We know how difficult that decision was to make. First, remember it is okay, and in fact healthy, to mourn the loss of having to postpone your wedding. You put so much time, energy, and money into one of the biggest days of your life. This wasn't your plan, but the show will go on. But before it does, stop for a moment and appreciate the love you and your partner share. Whether you want to do something big or small, we've compiled a list of 11 ways to celebrate on your postponed wedding day. In other words, these are things you can do together on your original wedding date so you can still celebrate your love and commitment to each other as planned, just in a different fashion. Discover 11 ways to still celebrate on your postponed wedding day. 1. Do a stylized photo shoot. Play dress up with a stylized ceremony photo shoot. Find a fun outfit, grab some flowers, and have a photographer take photos of you and your partner to commemorate the occasion. You can stage it as a faux ceremony or just a lovely moment captured for you both to remember. You can even use your wedding photographer and florist as a way to support your vendors. If it were up to us, we would thrift a fabulous outfit and head out to some stunning outdoor landscapes and then use the photos to get everyone excited for your new wedding date. You could use the finished photos on your new invitations, for your holiday greeting cards, or even as part of your future wedding day. Find the perfect wedding venue. 2. Visit a botanical garden or park. Check out your local area for botanical gardens and parks that are in season and open. Bonus if they allow you to bring a picnic from home to enjoy amongst nature. These gardens are usually affordable and a wonderful way to take in some natural beauty on your would-be wedding day. 3. Take a week, weekend getaway. Whether you want a staycation or to get out of town, change up your scenery with a little getaway. If your wedding venue is a hotel, reach out to them and let them know you want to book a room and indulge in what would have been your wedding weekend. They may even give you a room upgrade and some champagne to aid in your getaway. If you plan to stay at or visit your venue, spend some time with your fiancé in the spot where the ceremony will be held. If it's outdoors, maybe share a picnic evening. You can even do a little ode to your future wedding vows by writing five things you love about your partner and take turns reading them off. 4. Have a romantic outdoor picnic. Consider having an outdoor picnic to celebrate your would-be wedding day. If you have a first date restaurant, pick up food from there for your picnic for a bit of romantic nostalgia. You can also reach out to your wedding caterer and see if they can package up a romantic meal for two for your would-be wedding day picnic. Maybe they can put together some of the foods you'll be having, or were planning on having, on your big day to celebrate the occasion. Whatever food and beverage you go with, creating a magical outdoor picnic will be a wonderful way to celebrate your love. 5. Celebrate with cake and champagne. If you're looking for a simpler and more low-key postponed wedding alternative, consider reaching out to the bakery in charge of your wedding day cake and requesting a single tier version, or any other desserts you may be offering on your big day. Pair it with champagne to complete your mini celebration. One of the benefits of this sweet tooth friendly idea is that you can enjoy it wherever and whenever you'd like. Whether that's at your home, on the beach, in the park, at a hotel, or anywhere else. 6. Take a virtual painting class. We've all heard of, or have gone to, a paint and sip class, where you paint alongside an art teacher while sipping on a glass of wine. Well, you can still participate in these classes, but online from the safety and comfort of your own home. We recommend contacting your local paint and sip studio first to see if they're offering virtual or safe in-person classes in order to support your own community. However, if you're having trouble finding classes locally, this online paint and sip company hosts both live and pre-recorded classes. In addition, Yaymaker also has a wonderful selection of not only painting, but other art classes as well that are sure to create a fun and creative postponed wedding celebration. 7. Go to a drive-in theater. Drive-ins are one of our favorite options for things to do on your postponed wedding day. Drive-in movies, drive-in restaurants, drive-in haunted houses, drive-in food tours, drive-in county fairs, and the latest cool experience, drive-in concerts. Drive-in concerts are super cool because you essentially get your own barricaded section to decorate as you please. Some even offer food services where you order through an app and they bring it to your car. Pick a drive-in that interests you and your partner and make your original wedding date memorable regardless. 8. Cook a special meal at home together. 
If cooking at home together isn't something you usually do, then this would be a perfectly special activity for you and your partner to do together on your postponed wedding day. You can even search for some cooking classes that are now offering online options and sign up for those. Again, we recommend choosing a local online class to support your community, but if you're having trouble finding one, here is a wonderful resource of online cooking classes available regardless of your location. 9. Go stargazing. Whether you can stargaze from the comfort of your backyard or need to drive into nature for a darker sky, we love the idea of stargazing together on your would-be wedding night. If local regulations allow it, you can even get some firewood and sit together around a fire pit roasting marshmallows and spending some quality time together without phones, televisions, and other modern distractions. 10. Have a spa day. What better way to relax than at the spa? Keep it simple with a couple's massage at a local massage therapist or go all out with a full spa day, complete with massages, pedicures, facials, haircuts, you name it. Not only will this help relieve some stress, and who doesn't need that, but it's a great way to spend your would-be wedding date. 11. Do absolutely nothing. You may just want to lay around in your pajamas, watch Netflix or some wedding movies, and eat ice cream all day. Guess what? That's an amazing option too. It's completely up to you. This is your day, after all. We hope these ideas will help you celebrate on your postponed wedding day. No matter what activity you and your partner decide on, if you postponed your wedding, you should absolutely do something special to celebrate your love on your original date. Indulge in delicious food, have your photo taken, and soak up the love you and your partner have for each other. Up next, check out some hilarious wedding planning memes that all couples can relate to.